In this brief tutorial, we will learn how to install and connect a solar panel on a golf cart, thus obtaining the necessary energy without ever using a utility connected charger. First of all, of course, you need a golf cart. The one we used is a club car with a 48 volt battery. It is important that the nominal voltage is equal to the nominal voltage of the golf cart batteries. We recommend using a 48 volt unit since there are fewer losses due to resistance of the wiring. Mainly, this tutorial is based on the way we adapted the 315 watt panel with 48 volts open circuit and the ProStar PS15M48 charge controller by Morningstar. The only additional mounting materials are a couple of aluminum rails of the same length as the solar panel to be used. You must place on top of each of the crossbars that hold the roof of the golf cart two 3-inch spacers made from 1-inch diameter square pipe, then another length of the same 1-inch pipe with a length equal to the width of the solar panel. Next. The two aluminum rails must be held with screws at the two ends of the one inch pipe we just installed. Please leave in place the plastic rooftop of the cart since it will create, together with the solar panel, a cooling tunnel since the panel produces more power when cold. In this fashion, when the vehicle is moving, the air flowing through the tunnel will keep it cold. Now, you must attach the panel to the aluminum rails. Once this is done, proceed to install the charge controller in the middle of the dashboard. In this drawing, not to scale, you can see how the connections are to be made. Do the wiring in the shade, to prevent the panel from producing any power. We will start by connecting the battery to the charge controller output. It is important to hook positive to positive and negative to negative. Otherwise, you may ruin the charge controller. Please read your controller's instruction before connecting. First, hook the red and black cables to the charge controller output, that is, the red cable to the positive terminal and the black cable to the negative terminal. In the ProStar 15, these are terminals 3 and 6, counting from left to right, and they are labeled as battery. In the same way, the ends of these cables are to be connected like this. The red cable to the positive terminal of the battery and the black cable to the negative terminal of the battery. Before making the actual connections, check the polarity of the battery with a voltmeter. It is time to connect the cable from the solar panel to the input of the charge controller. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Please use red and black cables to avoid confusion. In the ProStar controller, the input terminals are 1 and 2, from left to right. If you are using the ProStar PS15M48, please find the manual at this website. If you are new to electricity, please seek the help of an expert electrician. If everything is OK, you must be able to see an indication in the charge controller's display. If everything seems normal, Move the cart to the sun and check if the panel is charging the batteries. Again, all original circuits of the cart are left as they were. Everything will work as usual, except that the batteries are going to be charged by the sun.